Hey folks, it's Tamara, or better known as Naturally You. I'm back to talk about clarifying shampoos, and this subject has been a long time in the making, let me tell ya. But I'm finally, finally, finally here with this new video to tell you my experience being the guinea pig, as you will, and trying to find um, different alternatives for clarifying shampoos for my lock sisters. Not just my sister lock sisters, but my lock sisters, my lock divas, my lock stars. Lock, 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 lock. Okay. <laughs> so I have, I tried four different kinds of poos and um, I'll start with the, the cheapest one and not necessarily, you know, sometimes the more expensive, the better. And you know, when it's cheap, you kind of, people always say you kind of give what you pay for. But in this case, um, there's nothing wrong with going cheap. Um, if you want the most bang for your buck, hey, maybe you, maybe you don't want to pay a lot of money for shampoo. If it works for you and it's cheap, great, right? So the cheapest one I found, VO5 Herbal Escapes. Okay, this is a, see, plain as day, clarifying shampoo right on the bottle. And this is the Kiwi Lime Squeeze with lemongrass extract. Smells really good. I know the bottles, I'm, fair warning right now, I'm telling you right now, the bottles are empty. Okay, <laughs> I have used them. See, proof, proof that I have used them. Okay, no, I did not go dumpster diving. I use these. Um, so that's the cheapest one. I got that from CVS for about a buck and some change. Um, not lying, really cheap. Um, and really good poo. Okay, next we have Suave Naturals Daily Clarifying Shampoo. See, right there on the bottle, family size. Let me back up just so you can see how big it is. It's pretty sizable. I got this from Target. Um, you can also find this at CVS as well. Um, and I'm sure, you know, maybe like Walgreens or Rite Aid or, you know, some, some other store like that. Um, I found it, like I said, I think I found it at Target because the CVS was out and I paid about two fifty or so, you know, not that much. It was less than $3, put it like that. Okay. Now I also have Talia Wahi Curls, Waves and Naturals. I'm sorry. That's from her, from that line. Um, but the shampoo is called Clean and Natural Herbal Hair Wash. Okay. There we go. And this is sulfate-free and paraben-free. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Get a little tongue-tied. So um, this, this uh, shampoo is a really great one as well. A little more expensive, $9.99. I'm sorry, $8.99. But you'll probably end up finding it for $9.99 elsewhere. But um, always try Amazon. They have a lot of stuff. And sometimes it's cheap. But... Um, you know, and I'm a prime member, so I get free shipping. But even if you're not, um, a lot of these are cheap and they can be, um, add on items. So if you spend like 25 bucks or more, you know, it gets shipped to you and it's free and you know, it's cheaper than going to the store sometimes. Um, but this one is for curly, coily, wavy hair textures, defines curl, helps reduce frizzy hair. That's key for me. My hair is very, very soft, okay? I have, uh, my, I have a four pattern, so, excuse me, but my hair is actually very, it's not very tightly coiled at all. My hair is very wavy. I have a very loose curl pattern, loosey-goosey. Um, and I actually tried to do a three, Mm -mm. my hair, it, it just poof. And I don't like poof. I like my, I like my stuff to be nice and you see, you can see my scalp. I, I don't like the poof. Um, but I do like this shampoo because it does help, um, with the frizzies a little bit. I mean, not much, obviously it's the summer, so you're still going to get that frizz, but, um, anything that's going to help with frizz, I'm all for it. Okay. So, uh, last but not least, Talia Wahid. This is from her Black Earth line. Um, and this is the Stimulating Herbal Cleanser. Okay. It's green. has a little bit left in it. Um, Talia Wahid says this is a pre-shampoo. The reason why I would pretty much call it a clarifying shampoo is this key phrase down below. And it says removes buildup. 
Um, it eliminates itchy scalp and thoroughly cleanses. To me, that has clarifying shampoo written all over it. Doesn't necessarily say clarifying, but sometimes you have to read in between the lines, okay? Um, and on the back, it says this, this is considered like a step one shampoo, again, pre-shampoo. And it says step one, deep cleanser clarifying shampoo. So it does say clarifying shampoo on here. Use before, use before using total body black earth shampoo talk a little bit about that later but so those are my um those are all the shampoos I tried now again the suave and the vo5 are going to be for people who have like very oily hair um a lot of buildup or and not even necessarily um very oily hair but if you have a lot a lot of buildup you've never used a clarifying shampoo before I would probably recommend you know using one of those um for me it was, it, it was too harsh. It left my hair way too dry. But if you're using a lot of oils and um, grease or whatever you put in your locks, mind you, your locks should be mature if you're doing that. Yeah, I'm getting on you out there. If you have newbie sister locks especially and you're using oils, mm -mm, no, 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 no. Again, Go to my blog. I I wrote a blog post about that too. Okay, that's a no no. You don't want to use those products if you have new locks. Okay, promise me you won't do it. Okay, so I'll take your word for it. So, but these two shampoos will really they're they're good clarifying shampoos. But for me, for Tamara, they dried my hair out a little bit too much for me. Now, I know other people use these, think they're great, use them every time they wash your hair, no issue. For me, this is not something I would use every single wash. I wash my hair once a week. Yes, once a week. Because otherwise, my hair gets really just like it looks now, just devoid of any shape or form. So I would not use these weekly. If I were to buy them again, which I would, I think I would, um, they're actually gone because my husband was using them. So apparently he likes them. But if I were to purchase them again, I would use them like once a month or once every other, you know, something like that. Um, not on a continuous basis because again, it, it dried my hair out a little bit too much in my opinion and I have color in my hair. So, you know, I mean, I, you just got to find that balance. Um, now I do use, um, a moisture treatment because I do have color in my hair. So, but even still with that, I just felt like it was a little bit too drying. Okay. But, um, again, if you want the most bang for your buck, I would highly recommend the VO5 or the Suave Naturals. Great, great products. Doesn't cost that much. If you're in a bind, maybe, you know, you're a faithful Sister Locks user and, hey, can't order a starter shampoo because they're sold out. Or you just, you're just caught in a jam. You ran out, now you have to order it and wait however long. These are good substitutes, okay? This will get her done, okay? Now, of course, my favorite is the Talia Wahi. I'm sorry. I'm, I, I, I promise you I'm not biased, but I do love her products. She has great, great products, specially formulated for African-American hair. And they do not, I repeat, do not. I have not used a product of hers yet that has left buildup in my locks, not yet. And hopefully I never will. But um, I, so I stand by her products. She has really, really good products. Okay. Um, these are very different. Okay. Now, I admittedly like this, but I have to be careful. I have to be careful. And so I'm sending a message to all of you all out there that have the looser curl patterns whose hair is very much prone to slippage this is not going to be your best of friend and the reason why is because it's very thick um if you do want to try this but you're newly sister locked or again you're very much prone to slippage um i would dilute the shampoo maybe half and half um just dilute it with water 
And that should work out better. Um, and they're not lying when it says stimulating herbal cleanser because it tingles. It's like a pepperminty kind of shampoo, which I love. It feels so good on your scalp. It really feels like it's getting all that gunk out. So I, I really like this product. It's a great product. Um, I'm not going to lie. I use it pretty much almost weekly. I really, really like it. I'm a big fan. Um, for you all that want something uh, probably a little bit closer to home in terms of the, like the starter shampoo. So the starter shampoo I know is sulfate free and it's free of a lot of things, very natural. Um, and I'm sorry, I'm referring to the Sister Locks starter shampoo for those who have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, you will probably like this clean and natural. So, because again, it's sulfate free and paraben free. So you might want to give it a whirl. It didn't have, I didn't see that much slippage with my locks with just, you know, putting it in there and getting my hair clean. It smells good. It gets the job done. Um, I don't know if this would really totally be considered a clarifying shampoo. Um, but I tried it as a clarifying shampoo and, you know, again, no lock buildup. It, it got the job done. Um, yeah. So, and it eliminates, again, eliminates that frizz. So there you have it. Um, if I had to tell you my favorite, it would be this one. I really like the pepperminty and the tingly scalp. I, I, I really do. I'm not going to lie. I love it. Now, what I have not done is mix this, um, use this once and then shampoo my hair a second time with the Black Earth shampoo. I'm actually going to try that this evening. So I'll let you know. But excuse me, I'm telling you now, the Black Earth shampoo, definitely for mature locks only. Um, even I dilute it because it's so thick, but it lathers beautifully. It leaves your hair very, very... Um, Unfortunately, it can leave your hair very soft, which is not necessarily the best thing if you have a loose curl pattern like I do, because then you wind up with slippage. But I just I love it so much that um, I use it on occasion. And again, I do water it down. So, you know, that that definitely helps. But if you have mature locks, experiment, you know, find something that works for you, works for your budget and works for your locks. It doesn't always have to be the Sister Lock Star Shampoo or the Sister Locks product line. I do recommend them. However, if you want to step outside of that box and venture out and you have Sister Locks, those are my recommendations, okay? So if you have any questions, please leave them below. I would love to get your feedback. Please give me lots and lots of feedback um, so I can know how to improve. Let me know what videos you want to see. Um, and that's it. Okay. Thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful. Again, comment, comment, comment. Peace.